song too happy for what this campaign is? Maybe. I don't give a shit. This is a very fantastic song. Oh, I was undefined. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, we are back, ready to go. Um, unfortunately, top of the session, there is some unfortunate news. Coulter needed to step away, at least for now. Hopefully he will be able to come back. Um, we're going to finish up this mission. Hopefully it should be finished this session. Um, Myriad is running a bit late today. They will be joining when they're available, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but I mean, luckily the benefit is that this is a much, this is a spy hunting mission. It's much more relaxed, it's all RP. So, yeah. Um, thank you everyone for bearing with me, and thank you Colter for having participated in the campaign. With the song ending I need to gather the appropriate music <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot what I was using I'll use uh, yeah we'll use this one again we'll use the Ender Dark theme There we go. Everything is set up. And... Hello. Bit low oh. right now, but how is everyone doing? Pretty, pretty good. I got food. Nice. What kind of food? Uh, dumplings. Ooh, nice. I'll be muted periodically to eat, <laughs> and if I, I'll try not to eat, try to talk with my mouth full, but you might. Yeah. I, I've had food a few times during sessions, I understand it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, Myriad will be joining us 15 to 20 minutes, but are we ready to get back into the session um, until then? Um, yeah, we should be good. As All long right. as we don't need Setchel. <laughs> I feel like... If we go back to the graveyard, we're fucked. I feel like Setchel can just be spending time processing things. Given the conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so, last time on Mind and Body, the party continued to investigate the spy at Diopnin. Um, they investigated, um, yeah, they, they investigated the High Priestess of the Depths and, um, the, one of the large, um, owners of the largest farms for the city, both of which, um, the High Priestess, definitely nothing going on there, but with the farmer, uh, nothing can be ruled out. <laughs> um... At that, they decided to track down Hella, a um, diplomat from the Yotun Empire who uh, has been staying in the city, uh, and began to speak to him. Uh, as mentioned, Setchel started the speaking, but is now trying to process things regarding names and such. question yes um last we left off sebastian had formed a kind of rapport with hella and without without coulter here i have no idea where that conversation was supposed to go oh gosh it has been like a month i completely forgot that <laughs> um no. i, I, I should have brought it up earlier i thought coulter would be sticking through this session and then leave but then he left. Yeah. Um. We'll we'll say that um. 
Revise, revision. Setchel and Sebastian um, can talk with Pella while we, I guess we zoom over to Sol and Lucille. What are you two doing? Uh... Well, I'm just watching this conversation and um, make and kind of like looking around to kind of gauge the people around us if they're reacting in a certain odd way to um, someone talking to Pella. Yeah, there, there's there's some of that. It, it's not necessarily like a big suspicion, but it's just the like, well, why are you talking to the pariah <laughs> um, okay, nothing, kinda... nothing sketchy nothing super sketchy um, well roll, roll an insight check oh boy oh. 11 11 some of these people might be sketchy Thing I can act on, so I'll just stay where I'm at and keep an eye on Pella. Alright. Um, eventually the bartender will come towards you both. So, what brings you both to this place? Um, oh god, I gotta remember how to fucking play this game. Um, <laughs> or at least act, act as Lucille. Uh, We are simply taking a break from a very long day of walking. Lot of those. I'm glad you made it here safe. Oh, because of all the um, the influx of dead. Oh, you didn't come. You must have come in the city's fancy way. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, um, um there, there, there's, uh, like, I, I'll give this to you because you've been in the Underdark long enough. Um, Underdark's dangerous. Um, the assumption for a traveler is, like, you've been spending days on the road and those are very dangerous. Um, him meaning the fancy way is, oh, you teleported in. Oh, okay. I figured. Um. Yeah, and in response to that, she says, you were lucky to come in that way this time, but it would have been a much longer trip if we had walked here. Where from? Uh... Uh, the fucking deep, deep well. Is that the capital? Yes. Yes, deep well. That would have been a long trip. You do not feel that. Hold on, hold on. I gotta figure out a, a way to phrase this question because it says like, "I'm glad you made it here safe." Made Lucille assume that like, oh, you think someone's going around attacking people? Can she basically ask that? I can't find the words right now. She's like, do you feel do you feel that someone is going around attacking people? You here? There's been Uh Roll me a persuasion check. Oh, that's great because your girl's got a negative one to it. Oh, it's <laughs> okay, it was also one. Uh sixteen. Sixteen. Well, in my position, you hear things. What kind of things? Well, things that they're trying to keep, I guess not under wraps, but managed to not freak people out. That there's been a lot of death. People 
bleeding from the nose and the eyes. The, the head's just gone. Crazy Hold on, shit. people bleeding from. People bleeding out bleeding from the eyes and noses. Missing their heads. Um. Did any such. Did any of the recently deceased come to this bar? Mm. I'm not Beautiful. suspecting you of anything, but. Few of them. Had a few regulars who are uh, gonna be a lot less regular now. Uh, look, looks over to like where he keeps um, mark of people's tabs, and there's like one. Well, that's not gonna get paid. <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of look to him. Can I see how? Do is the <coughs> is the tab list um, in sight of me? Um. I yeah yeah, uh, I, I've never been in a bar, but like he, he has it kind of displayed. Um, there there's one that's been like kind of crossed out and pretty pretty high tab. This person was a regular. <laughs> how how high was the tab? Um, Depending on this conversation goes, I might lose my I might lose some money. Probably. Um, Just trying to think of a good price, because um, a thing I have learned in D&D is that um, eventually the party treats gold as dollars when gold... Uh, I did, I've did. i done... Slight tangent, but we're also bu just buying time. Uh, I've done the math, and one gold actually roughly calculates to uh, $750. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably about a 15 gold um, tab. Jesus! That's all? <laughs> okay. Okay, um... How? Okay. Of the regulars, who... Who was the last one to see you, and how quickly did they die? How quickly did they die after visiting the bar? Uh, well, there's been three regulars who died. Um, one of them a few days ago. One of the. Uh, They didn't really say too much, and can't blame them, they're still investigating. The one who saw you a few days ago, were they acting strangely? I'm gonna roll an insight check for him. On... on who, me? On, on, on like, retroactive insight check. Oh! a little bit. They were more interested in things. I guess. More aware. Uh, thanks to the very high tab. You an investigator of some such? Can I roll insight to see if my answering honestly would be detrimental or beneficial to yeah, this guy can. knowing? 21? 21? Yeah, th this guy wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> he, he'd okay. probably be, like, caught off guard by the full truth, but if you're just like, yeah, we're investigating what's going on, he's like, okay. I fly him a platinum and I say, yes. And I'd rather people not know about that. Money buys silence. 
Yes, it does. Uh, it... Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say, remind me of your question. Um, did the the person acting strangely? Like, yeah, I'd asked about like the last regular who visited. They, the bartender said they were acting a little strange, being more interested and aware. And I guess if they're if they're such a regular, then being aware of things is weird for them. She um, won't ask about that. Well, um, that that one, they're usually not so talkative and questioning about different things. Not so. They're here to have fun, not talk to people. Um, that one, pointing to the, uh, like, the tab thing. Mm -hmm. Now that you bring it up, he was, uh, not drinking nearly as much the last few weeks. So this is something you notice over a period of weeks. Yeah. The... I, it's my money. Money's my business. He was ordering less. Did you notice any suspicious wounds or markings on them? Not the that I can eye? see. Did they perhaps start bleeding when they were in your, in your? Is this a tavern or an inn? Uh, it's a tavern. Or, no, in your tavern? No, no it's an inn, because there's rooms here, right? Um, bleeding. I mean, one of them had a little nosebleed at one point. Hmm. This is interesting. Um, the people who are not as, who don't visit as regularly as they did, I like lean forward and I lower my voice. Do you notice any of them acting strange? There's... Not that I could say. There's probably some, but, uh, just haven't noticed. Hi, Myriad. Hello. Hey, hey. You gone. I'm catching up. Okay, um, just, we did, we just kept things slow and had, and I'm talking to the barman, but, um, if you saw Coulter's message, he's not thick. He won't be playing for the foreseeable future. Got it. And um, honestly, you didn't miss much other than um, Draco's um, recap leading me to put a question mark at the end of Harmit's innocent line. You. You. I don't trust you. Um. <laughs> Got it. I may have accidentally retconned a thing with Harvard. It has been oh, a month. <laughs> it has been a month. Um, I don't really think I have any more questions to ask unless Saul has anything. No, I don't really have anything to add. Okay. Alright. Um, at that, we can cut back over to Hella and uh, Setchel. Oh, yeah, okay. So, just as recap, I was just drinking with Hella last time we were talking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, I think we're just drinking and chewing the shit, just like rambling about whatever, in Setchel's case, 
dubiously whatever. Um... Uh, I just jumped in. Does anyone want to pick up the questions for me? Um... I... I don't remember what Sebastian was asking Pella. I just know that you got mushroom booze, otherwise known as mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Okay, well, let's take a second. What do we want to ask this guy? This is the part where we spitball questions to help us with our investigation? I will be honest, I don't really remember anything about like last session. So like I can't really help go stuff out. Um Uh I'll I'll jump in here. Um Setchel, since you've been talking to Pella, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, think that's a, I think that's a plus seven for me. Not now. <laughs> Kitty. Cat? Cat. Cat. Yeah, plus seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. There's a slight level of uncomfortability to him, but also there is something he's not saying. Hold on, repeat that. There's, there's something he's not saying? Yes. Hmm. Intrigue. Hey, something on your mind? Come on, we're drinking buddies. We can talk about anything. Anything. Like, for example, do you know how many Warrens might- Oh, actually, should not talk about that. <laughs> I'm an official diplomat for the Empire. If I'm keeping things secret, it is because I have Even with people who hypothetically don't run well with the Empire? Give me a persuasion check. Oh no. Ten, can I? Can I, uh. Hmm. Use a resolve point to reroll? Yes. Um, can I, can I spend, can I use a resolve? Yeah, um, I know it's a, hmm. I, this is using such as kind of more like, un, you're, you're not necessarily criminal background, but you're, you're close enough that I would say like, you can kind of use that to, hey, your government doesn't give a shit about me. I'm. I'm not gonna, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, because, like, Se Satchel does not have any official documentation. At minimum. Yeah, you're, you're the kind of right kind of unscrupulous for this situation. Okay, so, yay? I'm gonna go with you. Okay. That's a nat one. Ooh. Can I give him the help action? Can I help salvage this in any way? Uh, how, how is Lucille helping? Um, okay, so Pella was like, if he's keeping secrets, it's because he has to. And what did Setchel say in response? Even if, hypothetically, I'm not on good terms with the Empire? 
I'm gonna lean over past Satchel and be like, and try to like salvage that, like, even if the people you're talking to want to keep this city safe from anything the Empire is not prepared for. Alright, uh, you get to roll one, get to try once more for the advantage. Shit, I'll fucking roll, wait, no, not, it was persuasion, right? No, don't, don't make me do it. <laughs> oh, you, okay. Please, please. That's funny. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Uh, Damn freaking Discord activity timing me out. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um natural freaking twenty. You get that resolve back, Satchel, cause oh. <laughs> Bella will sigh. Alright, y'all. Follow me. Ooh. Uh, and he takes you to, um, like, his, his lodgings for the evening, just for, for privacy's sake, not for, <laughs> um, closes the door and makes sure no one is watching. On our way, um, away from the bar, I will flip the barkeep another platinum and just, like, use one of, and with another hand, just, like, shh, shush. Uh, nods. But... Okay, perfect. The uh, minute we're in a secluded room, it's like, oh, I know this. Give me a second. And I leave the bear trap in front of the door. <laughs> Bella, like, looks at it and, like, what have I gotten myself into with these people? <laughs> um, and he will, like, take, take just, like, a breath to compose himself. I am a diplomat, that is true, and I do work for the Empire. I was sent here under orders of the Emperor himself. However, my true allegiances lie in a faction apart from him. I work to undermine the Emperor. And that is why being sent here has been difficult for me. As you picked up on. If I may ask, who what is the name of the faction you work for? If it has one? I haven't named this faction yet because <laughs> I haven't gotten That's to prep for my Empire campaign. That's okay. Also, just to, just to like clarify for me, would I have been from the Empire or the Dragon Kingdoms? So there, there's as a world refresher. There's three. Um, the continent on the surface is divided mostly into kind of three separate um spaces. You have the Jotun Empire, the Mortal Kingdoms, which is run by like humans and and stuff, and then there is the Dragon Territories. Uh, Lucille would have been from the Mortal Kingdoms. Okay. You can just tell. You can just tell. Have Pella tell me no to my question, because that's totally an understandable reaction. Um, he gives the name. I will come up with it when I start the prep for that campaign. <laughs> okay. But if we're not from the same territory, I don't think Lucy would know about it either way. Yeah. Um. 
what is it the empire the emperor sent you here to do the emperor sent me here to try and garner relations with dupemin not necessarily bring them back into the fold but at least form an alliance Okay. And I guess the question is for the short short term, is you completing that goal in your interest long term? No. But I knew it was a fool's errand from the outset. Might as well make sure it doesn't succeed. So you don't want Dupemin to be on good terms with the Emperor? No. They deserve oh. their independence that they fought hard for. I respect that. I respect that. As much as I do grow tired of my treatment in this city, it is understandable. I do not begrudge them for despising my presence, but it is not easy. Who has been giving you the most trouble? The most trouble? Honestly, it's between General Gunther and... Between who? Uh, General Gunther. Okay, uh, you you cut out for a bit there, that's why. Uh, yeah, just, like, thinking. What was <laughs> his name? One of the council members. Uh, don't mind me looking through my notes. Hagen, the leader of the Smiths, representing the, representing them in the council. Like I said, I understand their suspicions, but how have they been troubling you? Uh, Are they simply not listening to you talk, or? General Are they getting more physical with their displeasure? General suspicions. Hagen is pushing guards to investigate me with whatever this situation the city's dealing with is. Ironically, I'm being prevented from leaving, which is what they want. Gunther... Gunther's just a stubborn old soldier. Hasn't let go of grudges. I think we learned something about Gunter in one of the last games. Oh, oh, he was um part of the fight that led to Dukeman's independence, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lucy will say. Yeah, that makes sense. He was he fought in their revolution. Indeed. I don't suppose you could recall if anyone, at least around, who's like close to Gunther and Hagen, acting strangely? Like, say, asking a lot of questions that you figure they ought to know already, or being more attentive to their surroundings? Retroactive insight check for him. Mm. Oh gosh. Now that you mention it. Gunther has a valet who is taking particular interest in me. But there was a time where I had I was in the street and noticed him following me 
I confronted him, and he told me he was there on the general orders. No one on Hoggins. Oh, sorry. Keep on, keep on. No, 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 you first, you first. You do so much talking. My, my question is... Well... Definitely suspicious, and I'm looking to... I'm definitely looking to a seal. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, is... Is... Is an old fart harassing someone for political reasons, like... Relevant to our investigation? Um, I would like to give the reminder that Gunter is a suspect because he is connected to a lot of the people who ended up being intellect devourers. Got it. Or thralls. Mm. It's been a while. Oh, moment. actually. <laughs> that's totally fine. Oh, actually, that. It, it suddenly become very relevant now since you mentioned the intellect devourers. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, speaking of which, um, hey, Pella, uh, I'm really know. Can you open your mouth really wide for a second? <laughs> Can I roll inside on Setchel to figure out what the fuck they're doing? I will need a persuasion check for that request. I lean over to Lucille. Brain worms. Or replace oh, brain. They don't crawl through the mouth. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I help Setchel again? Yeah. And say, um, we have. We strongly believe that creatures we have encountered before are in this city, and they leave certain signs on victims that they have left their mark. Or, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, we're checking to make sure you're, you didn't get caught. Yeah. Alright, persuasion at advantage from Lucian's help. All right. Let's roll two d twenty. Yep. Uh, eight. Eight. Is there an? I... <laughs> He's just just stunned by the request. Not sure how to react. Like, if you want an in-depth explanation, I can, like, write up a diagram and, um... Do I actually have some sketches? Let's see. We don't... I don't think we have that kind of time. Ah, you're probably right. Um... It... I have... Oh, God. I've never heard that question be posed like that, but... We have had to check over several people for, uh, such wounds, such as, uh... Any bleeding spots in the head or around the nose? Um, leans down. Very big height difference between him and Lucille, and just like, do you see anything? Can I check him over? Medicine. Check. Um, plus seven, so please. With, with me. Fourteen. Uh, can I? If, if that's a success or not, can I like roll with? Can I re-roll that? Cause that I got no, my, no. my question Sorry. is like, can Setchel help, or would Pella not allow that? I think Setchel could help from a distance of just like, oh, I know how the body works. <laughs> like you could do your own separate medicine check when Pella's not looking at you. Yeah. I want, I want um, to help with the deal. I don't like that seven. Can I re-roll that? Uh... With a resolve point? Yeah. Three and roll again. That's another seven! <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lucille will 
kinda. She will refrain from climbing on him. Um, but she will, like, gr um, hold his face with one hand and, like, look him over from a bunch of angles. Be like, I see no signs of possession. Very well, then. Is there anything else you all wish to discuss? Um, no one from Hagen, no one from the Hagen's group has followed you around, have they? Only the guards and investigators. If you have spoken with, excuse me, with, have you spoken with any of them? The, these guards and investigators. Only a few. They would not tell me why they were curious about myself. Mm. Okay. Uh, this this valet that works for Gunter. Are they always around him? Yes. Um. First. Uh, um. How much would Lucille know about like the um? like, hierarchy of servants to, um, higher class individuals. Um, he's not exactly the first pick when it comes to jobs protecting higher, higher class people, because they'll usually, like, just look at her and be like, gross, I don't know what you are. Yeah. So, um, but I think, I, I think in terms, terms of general book learning, she might be like, and like common sense, you might be like, oh, if someone is of a high position like general, they must have people helping them, but she wouldn't know exactly who. Yeah. Uh, so, so Pella would exp um, explain, um, the a valet is an, is a pro is a um, person's personal attendant. Um, think if, if, if General Gunter was a woman, the title would be Handmaiden. Oh. Yes. Uh, does he have any more attendants? There are a few other servants, but that one, uh, as I've gathered, is his personal attendant and a close confidant. And what is the name and appearance of this confidant? I did not get a name, but he was a rather... He was tall for a dwarf and a bit thin. Any notable... Not notable marks? Clothing? Marks? I wouldn't say so. You... Given, honestly, given my description, he would be very easy to pick out of a crowd. Hmm. Okay. Um. Where could we find Gunther now? He would likely be at his mansion, uh, and he points it out to you. Or, I guess, less points it out and more, like, tells you where it would be. Okay. Um, oh fuck, I forgot to sweep the room. Um, okay, I think, I'm gonna look at the others. Do they have any more questions? I got nothing. Oh. Huh? Do you have anything you want to, like, clarify with Pella? Any questions you want to ask? Uh... Not really, I feel like I've just kind of been out of it. Because I, I didn't really know what they had. Okay, um... Well, I think it's... I think we have heard enough. And act. Wait, fuck! Hold on. 
I feel like I'm, I'm missing something. Um, do you know anything about the- does he know anything about the people who have been dying? Other than the general information we've just been getting from everybody. He does not. Mm. Well, I can at the very least say that Gunther is more suspicious than most any of the suspects we've spoken to thus far. Yeah. I don't... I'll look up at Pella and be like, I don't think you should go out for a little while. Why do you say that? We don't know who could be watching, and... You're already not well-liked. If... If someone like Gunther was given a reason to get rid of you, he will take it. That is a very good point. Thank you. If it helps, you can keep their trap. Thank you. Do you have more bear? I'm gonna look at such a little like, do you have any more bear traps? Or is that your only one? No. If I carry more than one, I break in half. I have a bag of holding. I could hold one for you. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll get you more bear traps. Wild stuff later. Oh no. We'll get you more bear traps later. Um. Yes, you could simply lay one inside your room. Uh, I say to Pella. Alright. And before we leave, I do I do feel the need to say one more thing. Um, they have not currently they have not yet been spotted in this city, but if the presence of whatever is killing these creatures or killing these people is a sign for something worse to come. And I know this is gonna sound weird. Keep an eye for wrath with transparent heads. You're right, that is weird. Yeah, this it, it's very weird. It, and it, seeing any one of them is very bad. Um. I'll leave it to Setchel if they, if they really meant it about, like, leaving Pella of Bear Trap, but Lucille's just yeah, gonna no, no, close out this. Oh, well. Yeah, Lucy will close out this conversation and be like, We will leave you be. Stay inside. Um, we will keep in touch. Alright. Good luck. I give him four thumbs up. <laughs> I fucking leave! I follow. Seems that if no, if, if hold on, what did I just say? Um, Gunter is at the very least more suspicious than anyone we've talked to. Yeah, we should probably just we should probably just like see him finally. But he's also the most high-ranking one, so talking to him will be hard. Yeah. Um, can I climb up onto, wait, um, how tall on average are the buildings we, um, walk past on the way to, um, Gunter's place? Um, they get progressively taller and taller, so they start off mostly, like, two-story, and then three, and then four, and then you get to Gunter's, uh, um, uh, place, and it's a full-on mansion. Jesus. Uh, is- is Gunter's house on the map here? Uh, it is. I- it, I do not have it specified. It's like in okay. Fancy District. Okay. Uh, what's this one? Uh, I'm sorry? What's this one by the lake? Uh, that is the council, um, building. Council Hall. Okay. Okay. Um... 
Can I'm gonna look at the others and be like, uh, should I get a better look around, kind of scout out the security? Uh, fine by me. You wanna do it while invisible? Ooh, yes please. Bonk, you're invisible. Yay! Do you actually bonk her with the staff? Yes. It would- <laughs> yeah, it feels- it feels barely- it feels barely more than a gust of wind. Oh. Um, she like, disappears and just like, ow. And like, even if it didn't hurt, she just says it on reflex. And that is the only sign that she is next to you until you hear little, like, skittering away, and Lucille will climb up onto a four-story building to- um, wait, closest to Gunter's house, and look around. Alright. Perception check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Um, there's, um, I wouldn't say it's light security, but it's kind of, like, expected security. There's, like, a few guards, um, out in front, just kind of watching the gate, but it's not, like, fortress-level security, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And, like, uh, fuck, I don't remember, but, like, Gunter wasn't exactly on, like, house arrest, was he? Not super much. Okay. Um, I just want to look... I'm not- I'm not gonna resort immediately to breaking into his house, but I would like to look around for any, like, weaknesses in the security to allow us to sneak through and just investigate. Ah, uh, hmm. This is something I did not think of. <laughs> um... I mean, it's- there- there- there's exploitable points if you stealth through. Can I see- through any of the windows um i would uh nor normally this would be very weird but given how things work down here there's some windows that are open and you can see into them um into like the light coming out um you see it, some rooms kind of empty just people not there at the moment other rooms, you see some servants going about their business. Do I see Gunter or the valet? You do not. Fuck it, I'm invisible. Can I... Is there, like, a fence surrounding the house? Uh, there is indeed. Okay, um, I'm gonna hop- I'm gonna climb down from my vantage point and just hop the uh, just hop the fence. Alright. I don't want to go too far, but I just want to, um, like, I want to try to find the window to Gunter's study. Uh, you- I- I would need an investigation check for that. Totally fine. I don't have proficiency in this. <laughs> yeah, that's to be expected. Five. Five. You're not sure. You're guessing it's one of the closed window ones, but you... It's hard to guess where it might be. Um, could I roll perception to see if I can hear anything through, like, the windows and stuff? Any conversations? Like servants might be having, because servants will go will gossip. Uh, what what is your passive perception? Passive perception is seventeen. All right, seventeen. You hear some gossip. Um, most of it, some of it's like um, uh, the, the general's. He's kind of been in his room a lot. Yeah, he hasn't been out too much. Um, you hear, like, another, um, having, you know, 
be coming back after being told to like go around the town and deliver and collect some letters. Someone was sent into town to deliver and collect letters. Yeah. And it, it just seems that it's like, from what they're saying, the general, especially since um, the investigation began, has become a lot more isolated. Nothing, nothing more than that, nothing suspicious. Nothing that could give me probable cause. Nothing that you can... Uh, no, nothing that you hear. Since I'm on the ground, can I just do like a quick... I can like stay, stay walking on the walls. To just do a quick look around to see if anybody's sneaking about? <laughs> Not that you see. Hmm. Um, just to make sure that no one sees me. I'm gonna hop off the house, jump the fence again, and return to the others. Alright. Um, I will report my findings. And... Say, there is a ch um... We could first try asking to speak with the general, but if not, there's a hole in the fence that they haven't patched yet. Honestly, we kind of we've been putting off dealing with talking to Gunther for a while. So, no, I want it. Oh, sorry. You first. Sorry, sorry. It's like it's not that I'm putting off talking to Gunther. It's that like, do we want to? immediately defer to being diplomatic and letting him know we're here and want to talk to him or do we just oh, want to sneak in and okay. look for him sorry I, I thought sorry i missed it i thought the general was the uh uh Ajin, or, God. he was a right no he was a smith my bad my bad no so, i don't know where the fuck hoggin is we didn't ask Hagen, about sorry. where hoggin was man anyway so diplomatic or sneaky mm. I vote diplomatic if it matters. Yeah, let's let's ring his bell first. Okay, and if he gets uppity, we I right, punch my fist. Ring his bell. I like you. I don't think I say it. I don't think I say that enough. She'll smile wide enough that most of her eyes will close. <laughs> and be like, yes, Riley can- or no, I think she she won't say yes, she'll like, laugh and think to herself, Huh, Riley and Sprug have rubbed off on me. <laughs> and, uh, we will- We'll head for his front door, or at least his front gate. Alright. You approach, and the guards- um, stop you, but not like j just in a like, you know, you're you're approaching a mansion. Um, names and purpose here. What am I self say Lucille? Uh, looks to the other, um, the others. Uh, I w we'll say that Sebastian went back to the inn. Yeah, probably to keep an eye on things, do his uh, do his own investigations. Yeah. Setcho. Nods. Looks to Soul. Uh, Soul. All right. And what are your purposes here? Is the general in? Yes, he is. Do you have a meeting with him? Not on paper. However, 
would it be all right if we spoke to him to get his word on the goings on in the city? Uh, the guards will look to each other. Let me head inside and I will check to see if that is okay. Can I do an inside check to see if he's actually going to do it or if he's going to pull some fuck shit? Yeah, you can roll insight. I will as well. Passive in- My passive insight is 17 if that will override any natural 20. 27. Oh yeah, this this dude is definitely doing that. Um, that was going to be a very easy check. Get a resolve back for that high yeah. of a roll. You, like, you are sure... Um, j- just for scene setting... This is a weird situation, you know, like someone comes up, oh yes, we have a meeting with him, but not on paper, go get him. It's like, it's a weird situation, but he's going to do it because procedures like, I sh- I should at least check because if they are correct, I could get in trouble. Sweet. And feel- if, feel- if they're incorrect, all that, all that happens is just... Hey, boss, are these people here to see you? No? Okay. You're not here to see him. Go away. <laughs> uh, if it helps, Lucio will add, also, she probably got Central to bop her on the head again to dispel the, the invisibility. She will say, it would be in his best interest to speak with us to clear up any misunderstanding. Alright. Um, he heads inside, and it's a few minutes um, before he comes back. If you want to try talking to the other guard or talk to each other or anything. Um, I would like to talk to the guards. All right. Um, is it normal for the- for- wait, hold on. I would have been able to figure out the, the amount of security around the general's place is normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you reported it? Have you seen any mysterious goings on close to the general's house? We understand that there's been like, I wouldn't say like, but we understand that there have been a suspicious number of deaths lately. The general has mourned a lot of friends and associates recently, but nothing suspicious within the walls. Is do what? Huh? Did any of the people reported dead work in the general's house in any way? No, not that I know of. I, I think I asked him, like, "Oh, were you close to any of the deceased? Did you feel that they were acting strangely?" in the days or weeks leading up to their death? I can't say. Some of them used to frequent... Ah, actually, there it, there it is, and that is strange. A few of them used to frequent the General's house for social meetings, but then stopped almost entirely very suddenly. Um, do you, did anything happen before then to prompt such as prompt a hard stop in any visits? Mm, not that I know of. It's my duty to look outward, not inward. Um, since the last reported death, have you noticed anyone suffering from... Um, bleeding from the eyes, or wait, no, was it the eyes? Bleeding, eyes yeah, or from nose. the noses. None that I've noticed. No one in the house either. No. Okay. Quick follow-up question: If such a thing were to happen in the mansion, would you have the on-site facilities to at least help with that? Basically, do you have an infirmary on site? 
No, we do not. We would go to a healer. Mm. Good to know. Where is the nearest healer? Well, there's one not too far away. Um, got in in the rich people district, but not too far. Got it. I was just building a backup plan in case they don't let us in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at this point, the guard arrives back with the aforementioned very lanky dwarf. <gasps> ah. Hello, everyone. The general has been awaiting your arrival. Please come in. Uh, bows and nods, um, letting you in, and the guards, um, don't completely drop their guard, but they let you in. I'll I... give my thanks to the guards and follow the ballet. I lean in to seal. Did we actually schedule an appointment? No. This is suspicious, right? Very. All right. So where's that hole in the wall you were talking about earlier? Um. Uh, do, do I see like the hole in the wall from the entrance? The the entrance in the in the fence. Ah. Uh, mm hmm. You do see. I I think you can see the hole in the fence. Um, or at least where it was, uh, being a bit covered up by some um on this end by um some visually appealing fungus. <laughs> I will, um, probably, what languages do you speak again, Satchel? Uh, common, draconic, abyssal, this is the fourth one. You can speak, uh, common, and most of the guards here will not understand it. Most of the guards- I don't know about the valet, though. I don't know about the valet, though. Do I've got speak common? I've got Abyssal, Common, Draconic, Infernal. Damn. Um, I will risk whispering to you in Common. Be like, you see that? Do you see that pink mushroom over there? The hole is under is under its cap. Got it. Um, and I'll. Is the is the valet looking at us at any point as we make our way to the front door? No, he is not. Um, I will kind of straighten up, pull away from such and be like, um, we appreciate you letting us in, even though we haven't really sent uh, someone ahead to inform you that we're coming. Uh, may I ask what your name is? My name? Yes. Not many do. Uh, I read it and then I forgot it, so I need to scroll through my notes again, sorry. Greg. That is just my go-to name for anybody who I does am, not have a name for a character. I am Torbin. Torbin? How do you spell that? Tor B E N or Tor B I N? E N. Torbin. Um What? Hold on. He seemed happy that I asked his name, and I wanna get on his good side just for now and be like, um, it, I try to learn the name of everyone I meet. Hmm. It's nicer that way. Yes, it Feels is. Feels like you made a friend. Um, as for what he mentioned, uh, when the guard came to inform, I uh, the guard came to inform the general. I informed him, um, and. When I delivered the message, the general said he was expecting you all. He was? That is what he said. Does he mean that? Oh, you insight. can roll an insight check. Hold on, I'm writing this Same. down. Okay, insight, insight. Actually, I'm not part of that conversation, never mind. Fifteen! Fifteen. There's something... Suspicious there. You're not necessarily getting anything off of 
what Torben has said, but there is something slightly suspicious in that the guard came to deliver the message, but you're but um, what Torben is implying is that the guard came to him, and then he was the one to inform the general. I could explain it away by being like, oh, I have more access to the valet than I do to the, ge the general, and the valet's with the general all the time. So, it must be safe to pass this message along to him, right? Perhaps. That's just me trying to explain it away. Oh. Um, the, uh, yeah, so Torben takes you through the mansion, um, eventually leading you up to, um, presumably an office, knocks can, on the uh, door. As... Oh, Ooh. yep, Sorry. go ahead. As we look through the, as we look through the house, can I just, like, I'm not gonna stop and gawk in anything, but can I just, like, look around and see if there's anything suspicious, or if there's a door to a basement? Um, no basement, and there's not really anything suspicious. It, it, you haven't been in many rich people houses, but this is what you imagine rich person house looks like. Okay, cool. And where is the general's office? On the top floor? Yes. Does the valet look armed in any way? He does not. Do I spot any- can I like roll like a medicine or perception check to see if there's anything- like any wounds on him? Yes, you can. Uh, it's both the same thing, so I'll do perception. 25. 25. You don't notice anything. Um. Cool. Cool. Uh, while we're walking, does it look like there is like uh, mice holes in the wall or uh, ceiling? There. Uh, give me a perception check. That's also what I would have been looking for. Like, that's why when I said like, oh, anything uh, weird. That that's the ASD. Um, I did. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Um, since the seal that. already looked, um, no my mouse holes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I should have specified. Okay. That's all I got. Alright. Um, yeah, so... Torben will knock on the door. Hail General, the individuals you had a meeting with are here. Uh, yes. Uh, bring them in. Bring them in. And Torben will open the door and let you in. Uh, following Does... behind. Okay. This tour, when uh, under the pretense of making sure everybody in my party gets in, when Torben shut comes in and shuts the door behind him, does he lock it? He does not. Okay. Um, um and will he just stand by the door? Yes. Uh, as you enter the office, it is a pretty neat and tidy space. Not too many things. Not even really papers around. You see hanging on the walls some mementos, weapons, and such. And sitting at the desk you see a older dwarf with graying beard and hair. Ah, uh, yes. I was told that you all had a meeting with me. Told by who? Well, I was Never mind. We we had a meeting, correct? Yes. And uh, I will kind of like like imagine. I imagine my eyes are like fully black, so you can't really see my pupils. I'm gonna like look around the office, trying to look like I'm just impressed by all this stuff because I've never met a general before, and kind of catch Torben in my periphery and be like, uh, we were told we would have a private meeting. I am... Uh, I attend my lord at all times. I will... Uh, 
My brain is just completely... <laughs> I attend to my lord at all time. His secrets are mine to keep. Anything you wish to say in his presence, I will never reveal to another soul. Does he mean that? You can roll an insight check. I sure fucking can! That sure will! 16! Alright. 13. And... Well, seems on the up and up. I'm gonna look at the general and what and try and gauge his reaction when Torben says that. Um, I, I would say you know with the sixteen, yeah, that that's that's normal. Um, the and you definitely get like these two are tight. <laughs> they are they are very close. Um, not the romantic, just like they they work together very closely, and so they have therefore a strong connection. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, well, since you knew we were coming, I suppose we'll get a bit to the point. And I'll introduce myself and the others. A pleasure we... to meet you all. It is an honor, sir. Uh, we wanted to ask you about the recent deaths in the city. Immediately, Gunther's face uh, falls, being reminded of deaths he, is, uh, he was close to. We do not suspect you of anything. However, we have been told that many of them were friends of yours, for which I offer my condolences. It is a terrible thing to lose a friend. I... <laughs> this may be me getting pedantic, but oh, I know. it literally I know. is a suspect that you are in. I know, I know, I'm like, keep, I'm trying to keep, keep him from getting too sus of me. Yeah, I'm gonna need a deception. I'm trying to make him think that, like, oh, this is just protocol, you know? I, I am gonna need a, a deception. Uh, so, so you're phrasing it as this is just protocol following up, um, like, you're not the prime suspect, we're just checking in on all the yeah. possibilities. Okay, I I think that they'll still need a deception check, but um, just not as high of a DC. Oh, fuck. I need to buff my charisma. I really need to buff my charisma. <laughs> Four? Four. His eyes narrow. I understand why I would be under suspicion, but I do not appreciate being accused of it by strangers in my own home. I hate being three feet tall. Um, she will, she will, she will nod in acknowledgement and be like, "I wouldn't like that either." Um, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't panic. Um. However, no one in Dukeman has experience with what we suspect may be happening than we- uh, hold on. We have more- basically she's trying to say, like, we have more experience with what we think is ha with what we think is happening in Dukeman than anyone in this city does. Very well, then explain this experience. We- believe that and she'll kind of shuffle uncomfortably knowing that the valet is behind them at the door barring their exit um, there is a certain type of creature um, possessing people possessing people uh, the Torben is speaking up do you mean a creature from the lower realms Uh, implying, like, realms? demons and devils. <laughs> oh. No. Worse. They, uh, I've seen it before. I've had to fight one of them. Many of them. But in action, they take possession of one's brain. 
and upon emerging, they will kill that person. Hmm. Intriguing. This is a it tall... Doesn't... This would be a tall tale you weave, if not for where we are. Ah, oh, damn, this infernal place. It gives us freedom, but... Traded it for safety. Have you heard of recent goings on around um, deep about like in the areas about the areas around Deepwell? I have not. You, you don't know about it. I I have not heard of the goings on in those areas. Well. These creatures taking possession of people, they are under the command of... She's trying to figure out the right word. Invaders. That have made themselves known as of late. There's always some invader or another. That is why the Guardian acts as she does. I want to hear what the general has to say in response, not just Torben. So I like, I like, my head will twitch towards Torben, but I will keep my eyes on the general. That is true. I'm. And you think that these deaths are involved with these creatures? Yes. How would they have been able to get into the city? They're not very big. And they could sneak in. Someone could sneak them in. Are you accusing me of yet another thing? No. Has any? Uh, she'll, she'll, this new set will get a little serious and just kind of like stand up straight like I understand that this that these questions are going to be hard for you to answer but I need you to answer them for your sake and everyone else in this city the people who you knew who died were they acting strangely before they died He takes a moment to think. But the moment stretches out a bit long. And he goes for one of the drawers in his desk and opens it up. Um, I would say you can hear him mumble something confusedly. Um, Lucille came with her perception. Um... But your, your your passive perception is not high enough to know what he's mumbling, and he just he uh, you hear the drawer close and he starts to open up a few other drawers. Can I actively roll perception? Just like have my ears twitch forward to capture noise better. Yeah. Eight eighteen. Eighteen. I would, yeah, I would say that's enough. I could have sworn I left it here. Where is it? Is what he mumbled. Uh, my passive perception, I'll write it in the, in the, um, Discord. My passive perception is 17. Same. Uh, seeing him look around his desk, I'll ask him, what are you looking for? Log. Meeting book. Journal. Not... 
October, do you know where I left it? General, is it not in the cabinet? Is it not in the drawer? You always have it. No, it isn't. And, uh, opens another drawer. I didn't leave this map here either. Are you sure, General? Yeah. Oh my god, he's gaslighting him! I'm very sure. Torben will walk over and um, they help the general get um, look for things through his desk. Can I do um, an inside check on both of them? Yes, you can. Can I cast? Can I risk cast tech magic? Well, can I cast the tech magic while they're uh, doing this? Yeah, you can. Yay. I got, a, I got a 7 for a total of 14, but can I use a resolve point to re-roll that because experience? Yeah. Yeah, okay, thank you. That's worse. Uh, can I keep the 14? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Uh, 14. The general is definitely confused, um, but what you're getting from Torben is, like, le legitimate, like, what you are getting is he's trying to help. So, you don't know if he's just good at lying or if he is just trying to help. My passive insight is higher. It's a 17. If it, because no one ever uses the passive stuff in favor of active stuff, but if it helps. Yeah. Um. The the way I think of it is like passive is. You know, like, passive perception, are you seeing it out of the corner of your eye? Passive insight, what vibes are you picking up? Whereas when you're doing an active check, you might get lower just because trying to do it actively may, like, you're you're thinking about it, so you're not as good as it of just, like, I'm picking up the vibes. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Is it perhaps on one of the shelves? The shelves are for more uh, reading material than journal keeping. Mm -hmm. That might be a good idea. Maybe I left it there. Um, I'll go there. Maybe. Maybe the elf moved it while they were cleaning your room? Um, Who has access to this office? I'm sorry, I keep cutting them off. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Um, everyone, all of my servants should have access to it. Um, I, I would say it's no struggle to find the book on the shelves. Um, on the shelf, uh, you're able to find it quite easily because it is very plain cover. You know, just this very simple leather cover compared to, ah, uh, yes, this is a book that I have for reading cover. I'll pull out the plain leather bound book and be like, is this it? Yes, that should be it. Thank you. Uh, takes it out and starts um, flipping through it. Does Torben move, while the general flips through this book, does Torben move back towards the door at any point? I would say he's, he's standing by the desk now. Um, but okay, as, perfect. He's in line of sight. But as Gunter uh, opens the book, I'm sorry. You don't seem to have an, a, a meeting scheduled with me. Does my detect magic catch anything? Your detect magic does not. I... I did say our appointment was not on paper. I... Um, 17 Passive Insight. This isn't adding up t for him. Um, presumably he was told a different thing than what you said. <laughs> I want to look at Torben. What am I getting from him? Uh, in terms of vibes... Standing there, um, like very straight posture, very orderly. 
Active inside check. Yeah. I don't trust no bitch. <laughs> Same. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Um, and such was also. Foul. Foul. Um, Lucille. Yeah, he's. Thing, things are starting to piece together, you know, it's why why the guard didn't tell the general personally, and now, you know, this isn't adding up. Torben's taking the story in directions <laughs> in this game of telephone. And it, um, you're getting you're getting the slight vibes of like, you know, that this is it was intentional because now that the general is figuring it out, he's starting to panic a bit. Just a tiny bit. Ah. Where's Torben? Uh, over by the desk. Hmm. Do we want to cause an incident? Not yet. Not yet. Um. I'll say to the general, um, well. We're here now, and this talk had to happen at some point. And my question still stands. Does anyone you know, be they alive or dead, were they acting strangely? Continue slipping through the book. They... Why did they stop coming? I... Hell, General, General they are... You must be feeling confused. What's... Who stopped coming? General, may I ask, may I ask you something? Yes. You are... You are one who... You are... One who's fought many... who fought many battles for this city's... For this city's independence. Not just you know, this city. Sorry. Well, yes, you fought for many independence. You've had to dabble in strategy, attack, and tactics, long term, short term, etc. I have no doubt that you have experience. So, is it possible if I can ask you to put to use that experience and tell me why someone would target? those people on the list. They are important figures. They... in different areas of the city to manage, either that or they have connections to people. If they're important people, um, after they... And when I say they, it's the people who died, right? Yeah. Um, after their passing, who replaced them? I've not kept up with the current events. Um, re a refresher because it's been a while. Um, the people who have, like, died, it is people who are suspected. Um, it it's not that they were assassinated and then replaced, it's they were suspected to have already been taken over. And then... When investigated, they were dead. Oh. Just as a refresher, because it's been a while. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. In that case, if the people on the list were suspects and they all died, who among them was the first to be suspected? Um. A patient zero, as it will. Well. I'll, I'll keep them up, but, uh... <laughs> but this... this no. If I may, you all seem to be upsetting the general. Perhaps it's time you left. Or perhaps... We all just need to calm down with a cup of tea. 
it's no surprise that such a conversation would be upsetting to anyone. And perhaps we've gone about this a bit too abrasively. So why don't we have a hard reset over some tea? I do think it is best. No. She is right, Torben. Um, 17 passive insight. Torben visibly tenses at the general, like, saying that. Uh, I'll general, ask. I don't suspect you anymore. I don't trust this motherfucker. Get him out of the room. I'll have some of my servants bring some drink and snacks for you all. Uh, Torben, if you could lead them to the to a room. Um, yeah, I, I probably have not been hinting at it well enough. Enough time, 17 passive insight from Lucille and Setchel. Uh, the general, and also just like in, in, in general, um, his age, he is probably retirement age, if not past that. Oh. It, that and you know that that combined with his behavior is what I've been try is what I've been trying to get at with how I've been playing him. <laughs> mm. So Torben's gonna lead us out of the room and leave, or is Torben gonna leave the room and leave us with the general? He is going to lead you out of the room. When Torben is leading the others away, I'm going to look at the, at the general and meet his eye, and just um, making sure it's Torben's not looking at me, I'm going to silently mouth the words, Are you safe? He nods. And I look him over, I never did check him over for any wounds. Um, yeah, I would say perception. Or, 17 perception. Nothing besides old scars that you notice. Oh, nod. Kind of take a quick glance over the room again. And then follow Torben out. I think if Torben's walking with us, I think it's like... He seemed nice. I like that guy. He does seem very nice. Yeah. Hmm. Where does... Um, do we stay on the same floor as the general's office? No, you go or... down the floor. Okay. Do we see any staff at all? Yeah, you you pass by um, quite a few staff. What have, what are they feeling? Can I? Uh, what are they? How are they reacting right now? Um, just like do your they visitors. get nervous around Torben? Um, hmm. I would say that would be an active inside check, and I'm going to roll a secret luck check. Haha, <laughs> see if you can be at a 26, motherfucker. Yeah, no one seems nervous around Torben. Okay. Um. So, Torben. Hmm. How's I? I guess the question is like, uh, how's it been? How's it been for the past uh, few weeks? Besides the deaths, uneventful. Until you've came. Yeah, that does seem to happen a lot. Mm. It sort of follows us wherever we go. Has it always been? 
Sorry, from the first. outside, like you're the ones making the trouble. Oh, if I wish that was true sometimes. I really wish, too. I sort of fall into it. Like a hole in the ceiling. But, uh, I don't know, it's like, has it always been this peaceful? Like, for how long have you been employed? I'm sorry, I, I seem to be lost in context. Uh, how long have you been working with, uh, with the general? I've been working just with that him genius. for... I've been working with him for 50 years. Or, I've been working with him for nearly a century now. Jesus. And I will say that until you all showed up, things with my master have been going smoothly. Really? That's fucking ominous! Really? Sorry. Like... No offense, but like your master is a, your master is like a, a political figure. And given and given like how independence goes, like I wouldn't call any of that smooth. Things with my lord have been progressing as political matters do, which is smooth compared to this chaos that you bring. Like we bring the chaos, cause. I mean, how is us showing up in for like an hour more chaotic than, like, I hate to be crass, but several close, I'm assuming several close friends dying. Essential, I'm going to need a very special persuasion check. <laughs> I can't help him with this, can I? Oh. This, this, this is a persuasion tech that is, is is especially fun. Oh no! Ooh, cool! I have a plus one. Oh my god! Okay. Natural one. So this persuasion check is special because. I wanted to see how low you would roll to see how much you would piss him off. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh, we're fucked. Uh, but also that's a natural one. <laughs> don't you have... Don't you have lucky? Or something? Uh, should, should I burn lucky? Yes! Uh, he, here, here's, the, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Pissing Torben off might be a good thing. Because he might Ooh. he might unintentionally reveal information or such like that. Cool. Yeah, I still roll the D6. Yes. Cool. Oh shit! I fucking knew it! I fucking <laughs> knew you would! What's the result of the one here? I need to pull up the notes for that special thing. The worst option. It's the worst <laughs> result. It's the worst one. <laughs> uh, here's Van Richten's guide. What are you doing, Van Richten? You have to pull up a guide from. Oh. Yeah, Van Richten's guide to Ravenloft. It has the description for the feature that this is. Okay. DMs scare me, okay? I got trust issues with DMs. <laughs> yeah. In like the best ways. I love I love my DMs. Um What? Yeah, yeah. Uh Sechel, what about soul does um a memory that intrudes on you, um, like, what what memory intrudes on you that Soul reminds you of? A memory about a memory that Soul reminds me of? Yes, um, because th this is regarding your special feature that we are being very coy about. Okay. Oh.
soul reminds me of day one. I, I would like to specify, this isn't with Essential's memories. Because going off the feature. Oh, right, right. No. No, so so reminds me of day one. They would have that memory. Alright. Uh, and you are charmed by soul for one minute. The difference That's... between the deaths and the this is that those could be predicted. You've come in and you're asking questions and changing things. That is the chaos I speak of. Well, let me... Oh, sorry. You first. You first. No, no, no. You first. Well... Forgive me for being crass, but... How is it... How is it peaceful knowing that the friends of your master and their deaths are predicted? People die, and my lord is no stranger to death. Ah, but he's a general. And death in war does not follow prediction. Statistics, sure. But not... But there is no order to war. Just as there is no order to bleeding by the face and by the eyes and nose and missing your head. I do not know what you are insinuating. I am simply saying not every death can be predicted. How what made predict these predictable? Yeah, that. <laughs> Insight check. Oh, yeah. Sorry if this is like way too many insight checks, but this is spy stuff. Sixteen. I think I'm going to add a d6 to this. All right. Uh, I got a thirteen. Can I? Can I? Can I reroll? Because this, because Lucille, there has to be something here, and I think Lucille would know that. Uh, yeah. Yes! I've got an eight. I've got an eighteen. Uh let me, let me little... I guess. Sorry. You got uh, an eighteen. My yeah. reroll got a fifteen, so that's better than a thirteen. Alright. Uh Um, Lucille. What you pick up on is that he is he's angry, but he's also way too calm. And especially when you when um it was described like, you know, bleeding from the eyes and nose, head missing, all that. He's he's way too calm. Satchel. He has only said master once. Every other time he's referred to Gunter, he's said Lord. <laughs> Hey, Torben, I got a question for you. Yes? How's Loon doing? <laughs> At that point... Why are we true. in the house right now? I gotta know. I would say you, you've stopped on a, on a hall, in a hallway. Um, his, his facade... His, his face, or no, his facade doesn't drop. His face stays as it is. Are you sure that anyone would believe you? The people who matter will. And what proof do you have? Turn around. Uh, we'll find it. Sorry, Central, you first! I'm so sorry! 
No, I was about no, I was Satchel was about to pull out a knife. Oh, well, if you want truth, give me a minute. Damn! Damn, well, that's what's up! Turn around! You show us our, we'll show you our knives. We'll, we'll find it. Um, one of the... Another servant kind of comes along the hall, sees Setcha with the knife. Put the knife down. I'm gonna no. look it's okay. at this. Hold on, wait. Who said that? Torben or the servant? Tor Torben said it's okay. Um, Torben still has his back to us, right? Yes. I am going to look at this servant and I'm going to mouth silently run. Uh, I think he does. <laughs> I I look at Luce, I look at Lucille. Hot. Are we going? Is it is it time? Oh, sorry. Okay. I look. I give Lucille and give and give a look that says time to fight or time to flight. A hallway is not an optimal place to have a fight. Um, I'm gonna hold up a hand to Setchel for a second and be like. My request still stands. Let's have two. Um, I just need to get this motherfucker in a room. I just need to get him in a room with us. Yeah, you you get him in the room. Um, he he's going along with it. And um, what what do you do when you are alone in the room with him? I lock the fucking door. Actually, wait. Ugh. What if we lock the door? The general can't come in and see what a fuck, what a fuck his 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 valet is being right now. What is your plan? If you kill me, it will be easily seen as murder, and then you're on the hook for that. Perhaps my patriots would even blame you for everything. I'll leave the door on. I'll be like, I'll, but I'll stay posted by the door, just asking like, what is your plan here? Isn't it obvious? What does Dupemin have that you want? And I'm not saying like you as in Torben. I'm saying you as in whatever the fuck is in his head that's working for the real boss. He gestures, like, a bit at you all, and then a bit, like, at the mansion, and then kind of towards the city. People. Bodies. Laborers. Food. Sources of new spawn. <clears throat> the same thing the rest of this world has. Why go for subterfuge when you clearly have exercised your power before and you've shown that you can handle much more than what mu what many of us can offer? Subterfuge destabilizes things. Why always take a hammer when you can take a scout? I ask again, what is your plan here? You found me out, but... What can you do about this? Lots of things, but I gotta ask. And like, I look- There's like- When an intellect devourer takes possession of someone, they don't exactly like carve the skull open, do they? Nope. Uh, official rules, they teleport inside the brain. Oh, that's somehow worse. But I will. But I think Lucille will ask. It's just like I, I got it. No, how do you? I like look at Corbin's head. Like, how do you get in there? Just to try. Oh, oh, that's somehow less 
that's somehow more boring. Um, since we are coming out up on time, um, just just for expedient expedient whatever whatever the freaking word is, uh, just expedient. Just, yeah. Expediency? Yes. Um, yes. just for expediency's sake, um, what, what is your plan here? Um... Well, I was hoping to piss off Torben enough to alter his body in a way that would prove like, yeah, there's some weird- there was something fucking weird in him. Yeah, uh... Like, if- <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna happen, It's elective but... hours, they have legs, right? Yeah. Ah, damn it. If I were to cave his skull in and pull his brain out, would the brain have legs? Yes. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> I mean, we're going the same direction, but okay. <laughs> I have. I did have a thought. But this is more of an impulse than actually thought out plan. Can I set up a meeting with Loon through him? I think that would be a bit much. Yeah, okay. I think I think Lucille would try to excuse me. Get as many answers. Sorry. Excuse me. Out of Oh quote unquote Torben as possible. Like how long has it have, have how long have you been possessed? With some shit like that. Yeah. Um He's been taken over for a few weeks. Um what you gather is he is patient zero and the leader of the thing. Uh, I don't That's why he got mad that's why he cut in and I asked about the first at the, about the first person I got that got got. <laughs> uh, Golden, what? you had something? Yeah. Uh, this is just like kind of out of the game. What happens if I use like spell magic? Is it like oh well, like magic? No, I have to spell. Wait, yeah, time to spell magic or like regeneration of whatever to like find a person possessed by an intellect or that battle, but but that there. Um, the spell magic wouldn't do anything. Um, I think you need, like, greater restoration, if I remember correctly. Mm. Alright, I'm just asking, because I, I don't mm. even have greater res yeah, regeneration or whatever. I'm just asking, this, but I feel like I could do that. I messaged him. I even Roll an Arcana check to see if you can pull that off, Satchel. Okay. And I'm going to burn Insight because I'm going to use Origin to burn Insights just in case. Because if I'm an anomaly, I can make an anomaly. Well, can I burn insight? Yeah, you can burn or, uh, resolve. Sorry, re resolve. Sorry. One and one, and I'm gonna add a d6 to that. My last d6. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah, you're able to. Able to what? I'm so sorry. Should I just do it now, or should we be preamble it for next session? You know what? Let's end on it. Let's end with a bang, bro. Yeah. So, Setchel. Okay. Explain your action. I, Setchel, this is going to get gory. I'm sorry. Setchel. 
looks at at Torben and it's like oh. man you and the rest of you are just so slippery so small so neat you can just hide everywhere just be easy if like the little ones like you are just just like bigger more out in the open and oh wait yeah I take my sap and slam it on the ground, and I cast Enlarge on the Intellect of Hour, not Torben. I'm... F I'm fucking sorry? Torben immediately grabs his head in pain, and we'll pick up next time, right there! Sorry if I made uh, that whole bit way too obtuse. <laughs> No, that that was fine. I knew because I I like the way you played it. You didn't the way I the way I saw it. You made both the general and his valet untrustworthy. We didn't know who was behind it. <laughs> you did well. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Th thank you. you. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thank you, players. Can do this campaign without you. Glad thank glad you, you guys enjoyed the session. Running. It was fun. That was fun. I love, I love, I love mystery. I, I'm going to see if I can get a raid target for the stream. But uh, yeah, um, that yeah. that's it for the stream tonight. Bye, chat. Bye. Bye. Chat. Thanks again. Thanks again, Sam. Dude, amazing job. I'm gonna dip out. Yeah. See ya. Had a wonderful Bye. session tonight. This was fun. <laughs> very fun and glad I'm glad we're coming up on the end of this uh mission <laughs> just I'm for the sake of being able to do people. other things <laughs> i'm gonna be happy to beat the fuck out of a brain yep good night